Hello, it's Carrie here from the Female Entrepreneur Association and welcome to another weekly dose of inspiration to build a successful business. So, if you ever feel like your business is one big, huge, tangled mess of stuff, then I think you might love this video because I'm going to be taking you behind the scenes and showing you inside of my Female Entrepreneur Association the Female Entrepreneur Association Business Hub, which is how I've managed to get my sanity back and get things straightened out so I'm not constantly feeling like everything is just a mess all over the place. So this is something that I felt for a long time and I think so many entrepreneurs feel like this because at the end of the day, we have so many things we have to be doing all the time, which is crazy. I don't even know how we do it, to be honest. <laughs> um, and so it can be really chaotic, Very, it can become really chaotic really quickly and it can feel like things are just messy so fast. So um, I worked with the wonderful Natasha Vorompiova who is the founder of systemsrock.com to help me to get things straightened out because I literally couldn't cope anymore and um, she helped me to build out the Female Entrepreneur Association's business hub as a place where I could see what the heck was going on inside my business, where I could see all the moving parts and how I could streamline everything. So everything was just easy, everything was there. And this has been powerful, not only because it's been great to actually do all that and has helped me to become way more effective, but also because whenever I do go through phases of feeling like things are messy, and they do, and I do go through these phases, I felt like it the other day, it was yesterday actually to be precise, I was having the most unproductive day ever. I just everything was in my head. I've been traveling around quite a lot and everything was in my head and everything felt messy and everything felt all over the place. Everything felt really difficult. And then I looked at my business and I thought, actually, it's not really that hard. It's not really that bad. It's doable. It's doable. And I think it's the point is getting back to doable, getting back to possible. That's the key is having that shift and realizing this is doable. This is possible. I can make this happen. So this is why I want to show you inside of my business hub. So if you don't have a business hub for yourself and you're feeling really overwhelmed and like everything's messy, hopefully this will help you insane amounts. Um, I am going to show you inside of my Asana account, which is where it's the business hub and home of the Female Entrepreneur Association's organisation and systemization. But you don't have to use Asana. Asana is free and I bloody love it. It's brilliant. But that's just my personal opinion and it's not for everyone. Um, but you could do the same thing in Evernote. You could do it in Google Drive. You can do it on a piece of paper. You can write your business hub down wherever you would like. Um, but I'm just going to be showing you inside of Asana. Um, which I recommend. Um, but um, anyway, so without further ado, let me take you inside of my laptop and let me show you um, the amazingness of having your own business hub. So welcome inside the Female Entrepreneur Association's Business Hub. This is what keeps me sane and what helps me <laughs> to stay on track with things and to um, run my business more efficiently and more effectively, which I think is something we all want. So I'm going to share with you three things that you, I'm going to suggest you do if you are feeling overwhelmed and like things are a little bit out of control and if you don't have a business hub for your business. So there are going to be three things I'm going to suggest you do. Before I tell you that, let me just quickly explain my setup. So as you can see here, my um, female entrepreneur business hub is broken down into these sections. So website, members club, marketing, launching and outreach, admin and finance. So basically these are the core things that go on within the Female Entrepreneur Association. And then inside each of those sections, I've broken them down to you um, cover the tasks that fall within those core pieces of the Female Entrepreneur Association. So for example, the website really encapsulates any like content content creation things that I'm doing. So obviously we've got the Motivation Monday post that goes out, the Tuesday video, um, five things to try this month, and then obviously the guest post template. So at the moment, these are the things that are going out on the website. As you can see, if you come down here, we've got the Members Club. So the Members Club is another piece of the Female Entrepreneur Association jigsaw puzzle. And in here, I've broken down like everything that needs to happen inside the Members Club. So creating a monthly bundle, the monthly promotion that goes on, monthly accountability partners, monthly masterclasses, goal and planning workshop, working with experts and case studies. So those are all the tasks that I have to that have to be completed um, on a regular basis inside of the Members Club. 
And then obviously down here, we've got marketing, launching and outreach where I've broken down the, the core things that I do with that was obviously the weekly email that goes out, social media updates, um, doing contests, Facebook ads templates, freebie template, webinar template, 30 day challenge template, launching ideas. And I've just also got in some stats just so I can actually track things. So this is mainly all of the kind of uh, outreach and marketing that I do. And then obviously admin, just got emails, and then finance, obviously income expenses, tax, all that kind of stuff. Um, but having this here and being able to come in here and see, okay, what is going on in a FEA it helps me to feel so much better about things because other than that, it just becomes a tangled mess in my head and makes me feel like, it makes me feel so overwhelmed, like, oh my gosh, what on earth am I supposed to be doing? <laughs> Which is not a good place to be. Um, so coming in here enables me to just really easily get an overview and see what is going on inside the Female Entrepreneur Association. So the three core things that I'm going to suggest you do are this. Number one, get a pen and a piece of paper and write and, and identify the core pieces that make up your business. So what are the core part of it, the core moving parts. So for example, it's me, it's a website, which you could call content creation. I've got the members club, which is obviously a, a product that we have. And then I've got my whole marketing section. So what goes on with regards to marketing, growing FEA, getting, creating more of an outreach. And then I've got my admin. So how do we handle customer support and every, all that stuff? And then obviously finance. So most of us are probably going to have these sections, but that's just how I've worked it for me. But yours might include other sections, um, that you have going on, you might have multiple kind of offerings that are going on inside of your business that are the core pieces to your business. So step one, identify those core pieces that make up your business. The second thing you need to do is then begin to list the tasks that fall within those core pieces like I've done here. So for example, inside a website, it's my Motivation Monday post, my Tuesday video, five things to try and then guest posts. So what do you have to complete within each core area of your business in order for your business to stay running and for it to be growing all the time? So identify those tasks. And then the last thing, the third thing to do is list what needs to happen to complete each one of those tasks. Now, obviously, you're probably going to know what this is anyway. You probably don't need to refer back to this all the time. But it's really great to do this and to map it out because if you ever feel really overwhelmed with things, then having your processes mapped out makes things so it makes it helps you to be able to take control much faster because you can come and have a look and think see what on earth is going on so for example with my Tuesday video post whenever I'm feeling overwhelmed with them and like oh my gosh there's just so much to do and I don't know what to do anymore and I don't want to do it <laughs> which sometimes happens I can come and see right okay this is really simple I have like a series of steps that I need to follow and if I follow these steps I'm going to get it done boom so it's like make the video edit it upload it to YouTube um graphics for the post graphics for the featured image graphics for social media post content if with an expert email link to them share via email share via social media so it's actually really simple it is not rocket science but when it's stuck in my head it actually feels like rocket science and it feels so overwhelming and frustrating so just by identifying those core steps I have to take makes makes it so much easier for me to keep staying on track with it all it's the same with like, for example, the monthly bundle template, like every month we create content for the members club. So it just e it's e it helps me so much to be able to see that process, that creation process. Okay, like, hey, Carrie, right, well, right now we're going to create a bundle. What do I need to do in order to make it happen? So I can come here and see, right, it's not that hard. It's just following a simple process. And again, for example, if I come down to the contest template, so <clears throat> I um, use this as a way to like map out the pro the step I steps I took last time I did a contest. So I can see here, right, next time I want to run a contest, these are the steps I need to follow. Boot like <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying boom. <laughs> but like there it's it's so easy and I can just follow it. And it, I also use Asana so I can link to back to another contest I did which goes way more in depth with this information. So if I want to do a contest again in the coming months, I can come here and I can see, right, these are what I need to do. Go back to the last contest, look up the stats, look at what worked, what didn't work. Let me actually take you there so we can see what's going on. Um, I can see exactly, for example, like uh, this is what the contest page looked like. This is what the page actually said. That links to what it said. I can know when I started it, I know when I ended it, so I know how long it ran for. Um, I also 
stored all the images that I use along with the contest so I can come back and see right what images that I use right, just to give me inspiration so I can remember because if I didn't have this written down anywhere if it wasn't part of my FEA business hub because no way in a million years I'd remember half the stuff I did like it just wouldn't happen so knowing this is all here and it's like oh this is easy like if I want to do a 30 day challenge again it's here I can see it right Carrie this is oh, I don't know why I keep talking to myself in the third person but like th that's there and it makes it simple for me to go through and to see what is going on. So create your own business hub, map out the core pieces that make up your business, list the tasks that fall within those core pieces, and then go maybe the extra mile and list out what needs to happen to complete each task. And I promise you, you will feel a million, trillion, bazillion times better than you do now if you haven't done this because you will feel like you're in control of your business. Like you can see the moving pieces, what needs to happen um, consistently to keep it moving forward. And then you can come and look back at it whenever you feel overwhelmed, whenever you feel like you just need to get to grips with things and get more, get back, get, get back. I can't think of what I'm going to say. Get more in control. Let's put it that way. Um, so hopefully you seeing inside of my um, business hub will help inspire you to create your own business hub, which will hopefully help you to run a more efficient, effective business. But more importantly, help you to feel better about everything, help you to feel less stressed out, help you to feel less overwhelmed. And like you've got a business that you love and you're running it with so much more ease and efficiency, which is what we all want. I would love to hear what you think about all of this. Have you got a business hub already or are you going to create one having watched this video? Leave a comment and share your thoughts and ideas because I'd absolutely love to hear them. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you are not a subscriber but have enjoyed this, then make sure you subscribe. You can do so on the blog via email and I'll email you every Tuesday with the latest video and some goodies. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you found it inspiring and, and empowering and I will see you next week for another dose of inspiration.